Time to gossip, everyone. This is the Big Man of 706 saying, Welcome back to Let's Play Wario Land. Last time we finished off the SST Cup, and now we're on World 6. There are two things about this world. There's one thing I like and one thing I hate. One thing I like is the train stages. You'll understand why. And the one thing I hate is the boss in this level. I think I have to come back here to get the treasure here. Because this is another one of those levels that have those switches that you must hit in order to clear the stage. And, uh oh, Ghost Band and Arrow. And you'll be seeing those spiked ball things rolling around. Yeah, I do have to come back here. Because all of it is instant death end. Sorry about that. It was all of its instant death water. I don't know who I'm ripping off, and that was weird to kill a ghost banging arrow like that. Anyway, we'll be coming back at you, fucking spike ball. I want to get away from that freaking ghost banging arrow. Anyway, I'm a little pissed off today. Why? Two reasons. One, you know that band I was talking about in the last episode? It's starting to itch and annoy the living shit out of me. Those stitches. And I'm not going to have it glitch out again. Not, I'm not going to have it weird out again. <clears throat> anyway. Shit, now I'm... And the other thing. The King... The Los Angeles Kings winning the Stanley Cup. I was hoping uh, the Jersey Devils won it. You know, I'm from Jersey. And I'm not proud to admit that those fucking idiots from the Jersey Shore are there. And. Sorry about that. Sorry about not talking. Anyway, what. The thing is, the boss here revolves around these pricks. Around these pricks. But you won't see that until later. And I get a jet hat. I don't know if it's more risky to fly high underwater because you're slower in the water. The reason I say it's, I don't know if it's risky is because of those spike balls coming out of nowhere. And I'm done with this level, but not completely. And I have to come back when the switch is pulled, but I don't know when I'll come back. Because I, I think it's in the next level. And there are too much... I think there's two more treasures here. Yeah, there are two more treasures here. And this is the level where the switch is. You'll notice train tracks. That means more of this shit again. No! No! Oh. Okay, that was fucking stupid. That was fucking stupid. That means I'm going to need the bull hat. I hope I could just... I thought I could fly over that level. I have to deal with those annoying birds. But nope. The game says, no, you're not. You're going to have to deal with those birds no matter what. Even if Bobo... Oh, gave me the most grief of those fucking birds. And I can't believe I survived that. I can't believe I did not fall to my death. Oh, I, I did that for a heart. And I did that again for a fucking heart. Okay, why am I getting hearts? I'm not gonna bother getting those coins. And my eyes are changed. Of course, I fuck myself over because my eye was itching. I guess uh, the game's kicking my ass now for not failing too much on the SST Cup in Stove Canyon. And maybe this game will. What? I missed that jump again? What the fuck? Ugh. Luckily, one thing, you can only, you can, you'll be in this level once, because there's no treasure, there's no secret exit. 
Well, like I said, Stove Canyon was the final level featuring secret exits. Not level, world featuring secret exits. It's, it means the only stage to come back to is the first stage of Parsley Woods. Okay, well. Oh, not again. Oh, can you hear the enemy sound effects? Which is actually kind of good. But, uh, because... I don't know if it's mostly the coins or the music that did in... Die, bird. <clears throat> Let's not fail at this jump again. Bird! Don't leave without me! I wonder, can I make the jump? Yes, I can. So if I missed that jump, I would have been fucking pissed off. And now we have to swim through these underwater mines again. At least it's better to swim through only the mines instead of the fucking seahorses. Uh, okay, that was weird. You'll see, it's draining the lake. That means I can go back. Uh, I'm... Not only back to the first level where I can get the treasures, but also back just in back to the other worlds. Because I forgot to mention I forgot to mention you cannot exit the world well you can exit this world but you can't go down until the river's drained. And then we get the treasure here because This is why. Oh great, these mace fuckers. And you'll notice the key here. E key, prick. E key, porky. E key, mole man. I don't know if I should be calling these guys Harry. <laughs> Thank God, let me do that. Let me ask. There's death. Yep. Fucking piranha plants. Well, they're not in this game. Well, there are some versions of Han Plants in Wario Land. Shake it. <laughs> he always beats Mace. Wait a minute, can I... Okay, why did I do that? No! Oh! oh, thank God. Oh, thank you, dick. Because there's a door at the bottom of this, this drained lake. And I can hear all the environmental activists getting pissed off right now because I drained the lake for treasures. We get treasures. Well, like, one saying would go, not my problem. And I almost got hit again. Good. I don't want to have to find a, find a, a power up this late in the level. Although I'm gonna need to find a power-up, unless there's an alternate way to get there. There's an alternate way to get there, so I don't need to get find the whole hack. And also give us the next treasure. A mask! Treasure L's a mask. Now we can leave this fucking area. area by actually being it because, well, I don't think if you exit through the door anything will count because if you had any coins and you didn't exit the door you came in, I don't think it'll actually count. And my wrists are getting fucking numb. <clears throat> and I beat that level 12. 2347 coins. Now let's go back to go one of my favorite levels of the game, Core 33. Why? The music! Oh, fuck you. You're about to ride the pain in the ass train. Actually, I am riding the pain in the ass train because of these fucking fricks. Fuck you, Bandanero. I hate your guts. You are fucking nuts. If I think I can lose to you. I can't sing for shit. But I like how cheery this music is. It is 
not, that's not the only thing I like about this level. It's on a motherfucking train. I wish I could say I like trains, but I think Tomska has... No! Jetpack! No! Because there are two ways you can get the crosses, and plus this is all scrolling. I think if you touch the tracks, I haven't yet, you'll die. I don't know why you die if you're just catching the train tracks. But I remember I did play Buster Bus Loose for Super Nintendo. That if you get caught by a mail net, you'll get you'll get killed because you'll be shown off screen. And come on, fuck you! You. Also, there there's su many surprise enemies in this fucking level. Let's get the bull hat because I want to squash people in my ass. And make sure those bending arrows pay. I love this level. But the best part, there's two train levels. That means twice the amount of time you get to hear this lovely music. Let's fly over this bin with this duckerang. Now there are two ways you can do this, but I prefer doing it by standing on the cart because, well, sometimes you can't tell what's ahead until it actually shows up on the screen. I'm just happy, happily collecting coins on this train, and I'm gonna get my revenge on that duckerang that killed me. But this isn't the only time where we have to go through the train segment, and no, I do not want I do not want that fucking dragon hat. I want the jet hat because it actually it's actually fun to use. Oh great, band and arrows. Diamond and arrow. Oh, I like trains. I like trains. No wonder that guy from Tomska like, likes trains. I think I might, if I, I'm afraid if I try to use it, I might get a copyright infringement notice. It's from Tomska. Tomska, because, well, that was his idea. Bird! He didn't fuck me over. And that's a good thing. Because I might have... I like trains lashing in the fucking background, but Tomska might not like it, and I might get a copyright strike, which means I have to remove the sound from the video. I don't know that asswipe slow flaked it to one of his uh, Pokemon Crystal Let's Play videos. That was where he had to get rid of Final Countdown because it was banned in Germany. Yeah, it's always the Germans that fuck shit up. And this area is home to one of the most annoying treasures to get in the game. Not because... I flew into that lightning. I flew into that lightning like a fucking idiot. Also, one thing about those thundercloud enemies. If they strike an enemy... If they strike an enemy with their lightning, you'll get ten coins. There's no way you can kill those enemies, so don't ask. <clears throat> so just climb up this tall, tall tree. Get a bull hat. Now there's one ear thing. The only one of the swimming areas. This is not one of the swimming segments. And those fucking seahorses are back. These f fucking seahorses are back. I hate those enemies. Well, what's in here? A heart. Just in case I screw up. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Well, we climb higher. And let's try that again because I want to actually get some more coins. The one weird thing is. Oh, wait, he doesn't come back through, does he? Oh boy, I fucked myself. 
Oh, there he is. You know what? I don't need him. It's not here where this branching path is. Get branching bushes. He goes, I'm up the tree. No, well... I wish you could think of more jokes, but I'm like, give a fuck's busted. Oh, this is the level. We have to deal with these annoying ass she horses in close quarters. And to get the treasure, you have to go up the left branch, because that's where the exit is. But instead of going into the exit, hit this block to grab this key. Now you can use, now you need to use the key to get swim back with the key. And the what and I like when the key does that and it usually kills them. I don't know if it's considered a broken item. Now you have to be very careful because if you fall off the screen you'll die. Just give the key to the skull. Destroy it, and I'll get a catcher's mitt. Wait, a catcher's mitt? Why would there be a golden catcher's mitt? And those are all the treasures in Parsley Woods. Let's now climb back down. Now I have to go th swim through the other way. Even though I have the jet hat, I'm not going to take any chances. This is a bat not blowing up in my face, literally. And fuck you, dragon hat. I do not want you. And you. You're a mistake like the virtual boy is. It's, and I should feel ashamed because I have a virtual boy system. I think I have two virtual boy systems. 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 That's embarrassing as fuck. We get two, 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 2,466 coins. We head to the second and unfortunately last train level of the game. So this is the last time you'll hear this cheery music. For a Game Boy game, it has nice music. That has nice music for a Game Boy game. And fuck you, Duckerang. Oh, no! I had to grab him because I was cornered. Go away, Duckerang. If Elmer Fudd was here, he would take care of you. Little gold duck season on your ass. Yes, I am referring to old Warner Brothers cartoons. I remember once when I was playing Gotham singing imposters. I said, I saw in shop, and someone actually remembered that fucking cartoon. Well, it seemed appropriate saying that, because one, I was using the Falcon Blade, which is one of the new update items. And I don't know what update they're up to now, because I haven't played the game in a good while. Jet Hat Mine! And someone actually remembers this. Well, it seemed appropriate because it was a game featuring character made by Warner Brothers. There's... Go away, duckhead. Go away, stupid fuck. Or stupid duck. And like the main character from the movie, the Ted, featuring uh, Seth MacFarlane, America's imploding on us. Why am I saying that? Well, there was an annoying orange cartoon that premiered last night. Yes, America is blowing us because of the fucking annoying orange. I mean, it's bad enough having that annoying fuck Fred on TV. V. On Nickelodeon. Followed by two movies featuring that annoying fuck. But it's bad that Cartoon Network, who seemed to alienate, alienate most of their original well, viewers, viewers with reality TV shows, as in, not as in seeing real. The only thing real about it is how shitty Cartoon Network is now. Uh oh. <clears throat> Enough about that. So here's one thing. 
if uh, Red is on Nickelodeon and your annoying Orange is on Cartoon Network, then the next possible alternate, the next best possible thing is Smosh to be on either Disney or The Hub. I mean, you should agree with me that because here's one thing. The guys at Smosh are actually funny. I mean, they are actually funny. I mean, even though they have a, a partnership with YouTube, they are still funny. I mean, you must have missed that. And here's one thing. I hate, I fucking hate the boss of this. I fucking hate the boss here. But you'll see him in a moment. Just in a moment. Let's just, just go through this level. Fly over it like a cheap little fuck. Because I don't feel like actually trying to beat the level in a normal way. I mean, that's for pussies, not pussies. I mean, that's for re no, that's for pussies. Oh, and this is, uh, I think, the last big block. Except instead of carrying 100 coins, it gives a 3-up heart. Which means you can grind for lives here, because I don't think you can grind for lives in... Oh shit! I'm not grind for lives in... Oh shit. Let's get the bull hat, because the jet hat's gonna jinx me. I fucking ducked! Yeah, that's the other annoying thing about this level. Those those porcupine balls from hell. I better get this power up before I die. And I got another one up. I have a feeling this boss might take me a few tries. Hope not too many tries as the full boss. Because otherwise this will be a long video. Of course you knocked me in the prime place! Thank God I did not die. One thing, I hate those surprise spike balls. Listen, they come out of the f nowhere. And I'm almost, I almost got killed. And thank God there's an item here. Now, here is the next boss. I call this fucker the Purse Ghost. No relation to the Box Ghost from Danny Phantom. Basically, you'll throw coins that'll turn into ghost banging arrows. And if he touches you, you get scared. Yeah, he actually scares you. Yeah, Wario actually gets scared by this boss. Who's, who's the dumbass that thought of that mechanic? I didn't see him! Since I'm a dumbass, I didn't, didn't get the checkpoint. Wait. Fuck! I hate this boss, I hate this boss, I hate this boss. Thanks to losing the power up, I can't touch any of these blocks. Oh shit, that was close. Gotta find that three up room again. Cause I have no confidence that I'll beat this fucker for fair. And unlike last time, I am actually going to use the checkpoint because I don't want to do this bullshit again. Shit. That was close. That could have been lethal. That could have been lethal. I think the check room. Yeah, the checkpoint room's here. One annoying thing about Bull Hat Wario 2 is if you fall down. Ah, wait a minute. That's actually easier. That's actually easier than trying to duck in the hole. That's actually easier than ducking in the hole. Why didn't I think of that? It's beyond me. 
Oh wait, I'm stupid, that's why. Now let's hopefully not fail at this fucking boss. That didn't happen. That did not just happen. Let's actually wait until that spiky ball of doom rolls away. And let's actually try again before I get struck by lightning. Oh wait, I forgot you can jump over the boss. Gotcha, you prick! Okay, that was extremely stupid. The worst no the worst part is he might try to summon three ghosts. Yes! I got him! I got the fucking douchebag ghost! But his name wasn't Jasper, it's the purse ghost. If you get that robot chicken reference, you're awesome. And this is the last boss before the final world. With 247 thin coins. I end Parsley Woods with a grand total of 2757 coins. And we head to probably the most ominous looking place in the game, Syrup Castle. You'll know it's ominous if you see waving effects on that skull and lightning flashing in the background. But that'll be for later. So, so until next time, this is Big Man Ultimate 6 saying, get greedy. <laughs>